things go wrong because it's kind of there's only one thing to do. You know, Tom Brady, because he was drafted in the sixth round, and to some degree because Kurt Warner wasn't drafted, those are complete Haley's Comets. Those are outliers. Brock Purdy was passed over by everybody six times, most teams seven times, is that he's 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 um he's clearly cognitively very sharp accurate throw of the football but in these big spots you can see that you can see the lower round pick it's like Dak Prescott's a fourth round pick you can see it yeah. Kirk Cousins movement you can see it and this 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 sport I watched Shadur Sanders again this weekend that kid is moving putting balls into teeny teeny windows there is something to be said for first round picks something to be said for first round picks okay Detroit 31 Minnesota 29 so for years I love the quarterback position. I talk about it. And for years, the one guy I've really supported is Jared Goff. And people have shit on him for years. And I've said he's a much better version of Matt Ryan. And Matt Ryan was a really, really good quarterback and an MVP and got to a Super Bowl and probably should have won one. If not for one of the great catches, Julian Edelman, in the history of the sport, he wins a Super Bowl. Goff was on a freaking heater the last two, three weeks. I mean, it's 22 of 25, two touchdowns, 281 yards. With this, when he had Andrew Whitworth and McVay in the Rams, and now he's a better version of that because he got more snaps with Detroit. John, he is all stake and no sizzle, but is a pure thrower of the football. He He's like, he is feeling it. He's a guy that's hit, he's like when, you know, when Steph gets on those hit five straight threes, you're like, Okay, this stuff is, he's unconscious. Goff today was just spinning it. He 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 threw a couple of balls into coverage. Remember, this is Brian Flores, who has befuddled Purdy and J.C. Stroud. I mean, literally flummoxed them. I'm looking at Jared Goff today. We've had two years of this guy. Take out Mahomes. I, I'm not sure in a third down and seven, take out Mahomes. I'm not sure there's another quarterback in the league I want throwing the ball. He's that good. Now for a segment called Making It Look Easy, brought to you by Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Today, Josh Allen made it look easy. 21 of 33, uh, two touchdown passes, over 300 yards. Bills blow out the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Josh even found new Bill Amari Cooper for a score. He made it look easy. Morgan & Morgan does the same to submit a claim. They have over 100 offices nationwide, more than 800 lawyers, with over $15 billion recovered for all their clients. Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record fighting to get you full and fair compensation. They've been fighting for the people for over 35 years. If you're ever injured, go to forthepeople.com slash Colin, forthepeople.com slash Colin, or dial pound 529. Check out America's largest injury law firm. Winning in the NFL is hard. Hiring Morgan and Morgan is easy. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I, I thought there were three games a day early on. You felt the intensity that felt like playoff games. Obviously, the Niners, Chiefs, the Packers, and, and Houston. Yeah. And obviously, I, I think the game of the day was that, the, the Minnesota-Detroit game. If you hit him, he can't move around. But their offense, their offensive line is fantastic. Oh. Their offensive coordinator, I, I don't quite understand his deal, yeah. why he's, he's kind of scared to be a head coach, what's going on there. But he is brilliant. Yeah. And they, their general manager and front office deserves a lot of credit. Because, I, listen, Goff's been good for a long time. The guy got to a Super Bowl with McVay. Yeah. He went through the downturn when he hurt his thumb, and McVay and him had the weird fall off. But when they got down, one thing that happens in Minnesota, when you get down early, it's like, God, are they going to overwhelm the Lions? Because that place gets super loud. They've been up when they started the first couple games, and they just kind of boat race you. And that didn't happen today. And I think the Lions... Like today might be one of their grittiest wins of the last couple of years, but I'm with you. I mean, I think Jared Goff, he's a throwback. I mean, there aren't many guys. I mean, he's better than Cousins. Is at he this the? Point. Is he the last pure pocket quarterback taken number one? Pure pocket. Why? Well, I just don't think we see those guys ever again in college. Yeah. They they just don't really exist. I mean, I, I think he's a throwback in the sense that, that that'll never come up into. Uh, you know, when you just watch college football these last three or four years, when do you ever see a good player that plays like Jared Goff? Even I, I watched the USC Penn State game because I missed a lot of it last year. That quarterback is a little bit old school, but he moves a lot better than Goff, right? Aller for Penn yeah. State. 
you know, I, I just don't think you see the Flacco's, the the Eli's, the the Philip Rivers. So those guys have to master getting rid of the ball, being accurate, knowing the offense. Like you have to be perfect. You watch Jordan Love today; he's just kind of free. Like doesn't matter. You're like, yeah, I think you need to work on the fundamentals a little bit. Like Jared Goff's fundamentals have to be perfect because he can't move outside the little radius. And they got so many good players. They got such a great offensive scheme. And he, I, it feels when you watch him, you're like this guy has mastered his That's offense. Right. The timing of the throws, the timing of the throws. And one thing I think he really developed, I remember he got shit on pretty hardcore that first year with Jeff Fisher. And then the, the divorce with Sean McVay was not right. pretty. Because I, I kind of took Sean Same. McVay's side. I'm like, well, maybe this guy's, Same. you know. I, I think, I, I don't remember a guy coming back and going, this guy, remember when Alex Smith resurrected his career? You're like, this guy's mentally yeah. tough. You know, and I, I think Jared Goff falls under that. You're like, this guy's got some mental fortitude. To play for that coach too, who let's face it is much more of a tough guy, rah rah. Not exactly, you know. I mean, that's kind of the style with Detroit. We're going to out tough you mentally and physically. And I think you know Jared Goff fits that mold perfectly. Flacco did for a long period of time with Baltimore, just a tough guy. And I I think Jared Goff, it's not even debatable. I mean, he's just been fantastic. His career these last couple of years oh. in Detroit, you could argue, is more impressive than what he did. Oh, in it LA. is. Uh, because everyone kicked him to the curb. I saw a stat today, like he's the first guy since like Kurt Warner back in his prime to have three straight games of 140 plus QBR. I think the other guys like Peyton Manning over the last 25 yeah. years. I mean, the, the the numbers over the last three three weeks are eye opening. But their talent, that draft, Colin, a couple of years ago where they got Gibbs, Laporta. How about Brian Branch? Jesus. Who had a fantastic Jesus. pick today. He had another one that was yeah. called back because the guy stepped out of bounds, but it looked like he returned a touchdown. The impact players they got in that yeah. draft to overcome the Hutchinson injury. I, I was tempted to bet on Detroit, but I was like, that's a pretty huge emotional letdown losing that guy. And then they're down 10 nothing. I'm like, glad I didn't do that. Th th that team is very, very, they, they got a little Ravens and yep. Chiefs, like mental toughness to them, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And it, Sam Darnold, by the way, 22 of 27, Sam moves very well. I mean, Sam didn't play bad. I think it's a perfect situation. I mean, Justin Jefferson just changes everything. I mean, he, but Sam, Sam made a couple of deep throws today. I think in the second half, he was like 13 to 14. He was brilliant. Yeah, he hit, half. He was he hit awesome. Jordan Addison on a big play. I think Sammy's good. Oh. I don't know how far Kansas, uh, how far Minnesota goes in the playoffs because I really do feel like, I feel like Detroit's now become the class of the NFC. I really feel that. Um, but I'll tell you what. I think Minnesota's pretty good. So do I. Like, I, I'm not saying they're going to win the Super Bowl, but they, they're. They, they they are no sh like one and done in the playoffs. They could beat That's anybody. Right. They, they are tough. They, they probably play on the road. So who knows, depending yeah. on the venue, but they, they're good. Well coached. They got firepower. And Detroit's on a slightly yeah. another level, but I, I was impressed. With so Minnesota I think today. Detroit's the best team in the NFC. And then I think there's two or three teams behind them, Green Bay and Minnesota. But Darnold made a throw to Jefferson for a touchdown. He made a throw to Jordan Addison. The thing about Sam, you got to eat some of the reckless. You do with a you, hey, Allen Mahomes. You just got to eat some of it. But Sam, he's a playmaker, and I think in the NFL, um, I think the highs of Minnesota may be higher than Detroit, but the lows will be lower. I kind of feel now with Detroit, John, I get the exact same game every weekend, the exact same game. Dominant O line. And, you know, it, it's funny that you think, oh, they'll go out and they'll replace Hutchison. And they may. Jacksonville won. Uh, had they lost, I think they'd have just emptied the roster, perhaps, to get more picks. Yeah. But um, when I watched that game, Detroit-Minnesota today, your takeaway had to be, these are two of the top four teams in the NFC. I think they're... Yeah. Well, I, I, I think the one pitch the Lions have that no one else has, that their offense top to bottom is like the Katie, you know, warriors. <laughs> I mean, they got an elite offensive yeah. line. They, they have a quarterback who's a proven pro bowl yeah. guy and can win playoff games. They have everything at wide receiver. Yeah. They got a possession guy who's elite. They have a speed guy. Who's one of the fastest guys in the league. They have, you know, when he's healthy, one of the best tight ends in the league, they have multiple dominant running backs. I mean, they got one of the more physical guys in Montgomery yeah. and Gibbs is, I don't know, the young version of Alvin Kamara. I mean, how, how good is that guy? His speed, he had, he had a run today. He looked like Barry yeah. Sanders in the open field, making the guy miss on the touchdown. And then their play caller, because his cohesion, usually most teams in this scenario, that guy has just become a head coach, and they've had a new name filling that spot. And it's usually a little rocky. 
well, this guy just keeps turning down head coaching jobs and the offense keeps getting better. And in that spot today, like it wasn't about trick nope. plays, which they love to pull out. Today was about, you got to call big third downs. We're going to need big explosive plays and especially down early. Uh, and I, yeah, I mean, I, I think Dan Campbell is a guy and rightfully so after that press conference, he's obviously speaks a little different than a lot of these like intellectual offensive guys, even though ironically, Dan Campbell is an offensive guy. <laughs> Uh, but he's, he's got a little more Harbaugh to him. Yeah. He feels a little more like offensive, defensive lineman. Uh, he, what the hell's the difference between him and like one of the Harbaugh brothers? I mean, th- this is, I understand it's the NFL. So the, every team has money and right. if you draft well, you can turn around, but that's just not the way it works. I mean, there's a reason the lions always suck. The Jags always, the same teams are always bad. He has turned the lions into a yep. power. It, it'd be one thing if well, like, oh, it was one year. No, this is like the same thing. And this is different this year. Everyone's gunning for him, right? Everyone takes him seriously. They're not sneaking up on anybody. Yeah. Uh, and I think they don't have the owner of Kansas city, but I, I think it's hard to watch Detroit and not go front office out of this world. Coach culture setter. Their, their, uh, their schematic guy is Ben Johnson. Best offensive <laughs> About the people that you know who are trying to feel alive. Life can get hard, so honey, if you need to cry, just come share my pillow and rain. Line. 
sign me up And tell me about the people that you know Who are trying to feel alive Life can get hard, so honey, if you need to cry Just come share my
about everything Rain, rain, rain.